I am truly sorry to announce that you have a very low fertility. <gasps> it actually works! No freaking way! So, welcome back to some more of my Sims 4 Werewolf Let's Play. We were joined by Rain. Just, okay. I was like, Rain is like playing us in. This is so nice. Like, he's just playing a song as soon as I get at the lot, which is just so wonderful. And then as soon as I say that, he just literally turned into a, well, he was already a wolf. And just did a wolf Naruto run away. So cool. Thanks for that. You have to go get some water. Okay. Well, I was really enjoying the playing, Rain. I've got to say the playing was absolutely gorgeous, but no more of it. Okay. We also have bills to pay. So I'm going to try and pay those right now as well, because I got the little notification. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is love day. Okay, I got the notification to say that our power has been switched off. Money is a bit... Oh my gosh, can we not pay them? Wait, wrong one. Oh, we can pay bills, amazing. Money is a bit of a struck in this household. Rain does odd jobs and Luna works at a fast food restaurant. And it is kind of just a struggle to get the money that we need each month. But I kind of like a struggle. I do kind of like a struggle, I'm not going to lie. So, because I need to earn a little bit of cash today, I'm going to get Rain to go on the a jobs market. Rain with his new hair that we changed last episode, which I actually really love on him. I'm sorry, but I just think that hair is so freaking cute. I'm going to get him to find an odd job. Also, last episode, Luna, who's pretty close to turning into a werewolf of fury, but she can control it, so I'm not too worried. And then as for charisma, mixology, non-mixology two, fitness three. Oh, but I, I just want the ones that I can start ASAP, so I don't have to do anything. Let's do this one. Move some furniture. That's what you're good for. Actually, these guys woo wooed last episode. Okay, I totally forgot that. These guys woo wooed last episode. Their romance is definitely back up to uh, high again. Their fated mates, they have broken up. He did cheat on her in the last time. I don't feel like you woo wooed with anyone else. I definitely don't feel like you woo wooed with anyone else, but it's saying he did. This is before he turned into a werewolf when he was like absolute jack the lad, like absolute pure rat. But then he turned into a werewolf, suddenly lost this urge to be a pure rat. And instead, like, really found Luna his fated mate and regretted all of his past actions. She's kind of forgiven him at this point, but more than anything, she has the would be happy to have a child trait. She also is family orientated and she just really wants some little little cubs of her own to raise as a werewolf. And I think she's about to transform. In fact, I need to buy her the ability to discharge her wolfishness with a somber howl. There it is. It gets rid of your fury. So I'm going to get that for her as soon as I can. But right now, she's going to transform. I can just tell. She's got Pak Howl. She's feeling very angry. She's trying to calm down. But the beast beckons, so she cannot. But yeah, she got really down because she she tried for a cub a few times. I think maybe she's even tried before she met Rain. And it's just not happening. I was kind of like, in my game, I like the idea that it's very difficult for vampires to have babies because they're vampires. I feel like it should be like one in a million chance that they can ever have a baby. And I was like, I wonder what the case is for wolves. But the game is kind of, all the mods that I use at least, has made made it really difficult for them to conceive. So I kind of feel like maybe the game is saying it's also really difficult for werewolves to have babies as well, which I love because that's a nice little tasty bit of lore. I mean, it's it's terrible for Luna, but it's interesting for us, right? And yeah, she's transforming. She always transforms here for some reason, which is why I put these little scratches on the floor, just because this seems to be our transformation area. There she is. And she's got a pair of jeans on. She's transformed into work outfit. Okay, let's see if I can get her back under control again. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. The fact that she is now a veteran wolf does mean that she has a higher success rate, but obviously it did not work so well there. She also got to go mark something, so I guess we'll go mark some territory instead. Oh, I still hate that. <laughs> I still really hate that, but now you've done 25 transforms. 25 Ps in the wild, sorry. So all you got to do now is turn two sims into werewolves and become an alpha of the wild fangs to complete the wild fang renegade. <gasps> Oh, boom! She is now an apex werewolf. She is the best of the best, the cream of the crop. The top of the food chain, final tier abilities are now available for purchase. However, I only have one ability point. So, oh, these look really cool though. Super speed, alpha wolf, win most fights and challenges over other werewolves. That's really cool. Immortal wolf, which is live forever. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Luna Howl lets you transform temperaments. The most forbidden howl. Release what little remains of Luna's humanity and succumb to the moon's glow. Be warned, she may never be the same again. Oh. <gasps> So that, I guess, changes. You see these little red things? If you can just about see them there. They're the temperaments that she's gained as a werewolf. That would change those, which is really cool. And Legacy of the Lycan. Her journey as a werewolf knows no ends. As she continues to rank up, she can turn that extra werewolf knowledge into 200 satisfaction points. Okay. I really want to give her this, though, because I feel like the whole point of Luna is, like, she is this, like, mischievous wild werewolf, but she also has quite good control compared to Rain, 
who has none. So I'm going to give her the somber howl. And then going forward, I should be able to have a little bit more control over her. I also would really like to get her to this werewolf empathy, which lets her help pacify other werewolves. Because that's going to be so useful if I have baby werewolves. So I can try and stop them from rampaging. But I've got to reach Delta rank in a wolf pack, which I'm not at yet. And this one seems really cool as well. Luna Epiphany lets me read ancient werewolf writings. But to do that, I've got to try and read a lot more literature. In fact, Rain might get that before us. <gasps> and this one as well. Teach other werewolves with skill and grace. She's been around the block and has the wealth. Th these will be so useful for a werewolf like mother or father, right? So I've got to do practice howling, share werewolf experiences, or pack mentor as a veteran on a good friend werewolf. Okay, let's try and get that too. But it sounds like I've got to really try and improve. Like, I'm only oh. Omega right now. If I got anything else in my adventure I can offer to them? I mean, I could give them some spoiled meat. Yeah, they're gonna hate that. Okay, she's off zooming right now. She's left a terrible mess. When she gets back, I want her with the same mod that gave her the issues with fertility, which just happened randomly, by the way, but I really like that it did. I want to use that mod to try and explore what options we have to try and increase our chance of having baby wolfies. The other thing I'm going to do is I don't really just want one wolf. I feel like, and you guys actually gave me this idea. You guys suggested that if werewolves have babies, it should be like a dog having puppies. Like it should be a lot more than just like, you know, your typical one baby, which most people have. Obviously some people have twins and triplets. In my series, a lot of people do, but in general, it's kind of rare. This should work for werewolves, by the way. That would have been such a cool little like easter egg they could have put in the game but yeah i basically feel like we should be having a bunch of little cubs i keep calling them cubs they're not wolves little puppies at the same time so they have on a dark ley line which expects babies here to require extra care while teething so that's like vampire babies i don't think they actually have one for werewolves which is kind of sad they didn't add any new traits new lot traits from what I can see for werewolves. But I'm gonna do on a ley line. Also child's play so that the little puppies will learn faster. And I'm not gonna bother with any challenges. I'm kind of happy with where things are right now. And we're still trying to save for that feral containment unit. <laughs> But I really want to buy new cute stuff for the house. Like the new like patched up couch and stuff instead of this boring one. Oh, there's like so many things I want to buy, but we just don't earn a great deal of money. Plus we should be saving in case we do get babies. Okay, Claire, be sensible. Do some saves. Plus, if we do want to get any facility treatments, they're going to be really expensive too, right? Okay, so I'm going to do a little group hunt with Rain to get dinner for the... <laughs> this is how we get dinner. We're like, should we go get some food? And Rain's like, yeah, I could kind of do some with some food. And then we go into the forest and and find something to kill and eat. It's a very old school approach to getting food, but it works for us and, you know, works for their family. Are they a family together yet? I don't know, maybe. They've not made anything official yet, but I don't know if werewolves need to. He does really want to kiss her though and make her laugh, which is very cute. And she really wants to treat her sickness symptoms with rest. So I don't know if she feels like she's got a fever, but I like to think it's more that she wants to try and treat her issues with fertility. So when I get them home, I'm going to put dinner on the table. I still hate that to put dinner on in the fridge. I have to do this and like individually move each one over. I don't know why, but it won't let me move them in a group. And sometimes certain pieces of meat smell. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know why certain meats have a smell to them. But yeah, certain meats do. I'm going to get them to also have a little sit down. I'm pretty sure Rain just ate his whole plate as well. But ooh, I can ask Rain to sever the ties with the Sims he cheated with. See, I don't... <laughs> I actually don't think he wooed with anyone, but she's going to be like, look, if we're getting closer and where we will win, like she's very protective, isn't she? She's very like uh, very possessive, but in a wolfy way, which I guess still is toxic, but the wolves, they're not going to play by human rules, are they? As he said, no. <gasps> I'm leaving this behind. I'm leaving them behind. Let's start over. You're my partner. Don't worry about them anymore. They're a thing of the past. Is he actually doing it then? Send text to affair, end affair. I mean, he already wasn't having an affair. I feel like he's very much just like, I'm not even going to speak to them anymore. You're right. I'm a changed wolf. You're cutting ties with me just because your partner asked you to? Well, thanks for showing how little you care about me. Stay with them then and never come knocking at my door again. Well, I don't know where you live, so I probably won't. He didn't really like that she asked him to do that, but he gets it. Relationships aren't all sunshine and rainbows. And then I'm going to ask him about his fertility and ask him to get his fertility tested because, like, I feel like she kind of knows at this point it's probably her, but... 
she's finding it like really hard to accept that because she really really wants her own little pack so she's like you know it's difficult for werewolves he's like I'm, imagine i'm normal in that regard he's agreed to go and see what's what so that's good he's at least gonna go check it out like he's like i'm not even gonna bother arguing this well, fine i'll go i feel like for all werewolves it's probably low but once we find out what his is then we'll we'll go find out what ours is too i don't think it's gonna be good though luna so if you're wondering what mod does all of the stuff that i'm doing it's called it was called the woohoo wellness mod it is now called the relationship wellness mod it's a really good mod it adds so much more to the game around like relationships adoption fertility conceiving pregnancy cheating affairs like loads of stuff like that but it does most definitely slow your game down significantly so i will just caveat it with that i do however really like it and i'm gonna get her to go box because she's feeling confident she's feeling good that they had that conversation but she's also probably feeling a bit tense about this whole fertility issue you, isn't she? <laughs> Goodbye, couple breaker. From cause the end of affair. It will help if Luna's affair partner keeps their word and never sees them again. He didn't woo woo with her. I just want to make that really clear. He did kiss her in front of Luna just to kind of show that like he didn't want to like have a deep relationship at that point. But he did also do it on a full moon while she was transforming and caused himself to get bitten. So I feel like he's paid his dues, guys. And he's sad that he was forced to say goodbye. It's a logical conclusion to confessing to cheating, really. It still doesn't feel great. Doing the right thing sucks sometimes. Uh, Rain will get over it and try to commit to his real partner. He is choosing over his lover and you seem to be more fertile than average. Oh my gosh, this must be the very family. This is why there is a hidden fertility number, by the way. I found it. You guys told me it was a thing and I checked. If I click on Rain, this is how long it takes to load my menus now, by the way. And I go to pregnancy and family and fertility, fertility options. And I go to select fertility rate. Rain's is showing as four in here but which feels really low oh set between naught and five ah okay i thought it was out of 100 for some reason so yeah his fertility is high he's like high i guess three would be average two would be a bit low one would be very low zero would be no chance five would be bountiful but all of my berry sims have been so fertile it's ridiculous even at 60 years old so he's definitely inherited that and knowledge is always good to have he's got a little bonsai tree so i'm gonna go ahead and like say he's gonna be like well my fertility is fine i might be a werewolf but i'm a berry okay and apparently berry trumps being a werewolf like that's always gonna be one stronger than being a werewolf because they're just so fertile i could ask her but i feel like i think it's kind of obvious that it's her now so i'm not gonna ask her i'm gonna let her decide whether she wants to do it herself but I don't think she's going to get the best news. She says, I'd imagine I'm normal. I'm not aware of any issues. I don't think she really wants to say, does she? She definitely doesn't really want to say. And he's like, okay, I've got some energy still to burn off. So I don't know whether to send him like digging. I want to just try and get a bit of extra cash. Yeah, I'm going to get him to do some smells to try and find some stuff to dig. And then he likes to gift it to Luna so that she can gift it to the wild fangs. Just a nice thing he does. He has no need for it because he wants to be a lone werewolf. But to do that, I need to... I'm looking at this Unleash the Beast. I'm wondering if I have a basement full of things to destroy when he becomes a werewolf so I can get this to 25. And also, wow, you literally just did a fart and then did a smell check. That's really gross. But also because it's kind of sensible if you're a werewolf to have a place you can go and wreck. And then also go into your little containment chamber afterwards, you know? The heat keeps finding these things canine familiar figurine i need to get him to read more books if he wants to try and understand things a little bit more <gasps> wait i don't want to give that to the wild fangs that's so cool look at this we should be putting it on here i mean look at that that's badass yeah they're not getting that i'm keeping that for myself so it's kind of late right now but that might be a good i mean technically it would be closed but i might get her to like sneak off and evaluate at night time because she's kind of he's off doing his thing she doesn't want anyone to know. So we're going to sneak away and check out what our facility is. I don't know what news she's going to get, but we did get the pop-up last time that says she should probably visit someone. So I don't think it's going to be good. <gasps> I'm truly sorry to announce that you have a very low fertility. Starting a pregnancy will be quite difficult. <gasps> And I can now keep track of my exact fertility under the fertility menu in family and pregnancy. However, she's unlikely to encounter any risks during pregnancy and she would be able to give natural birth. So her chances are really low, but if she did get pregnant, it would be a healthy pregnancy. And he immediately feels sad. 
Oh, he's got his, the shared sadness from her straight away. Can she like confide in him about this? I've never had this with a sim before. Is this a part of this mod? So I'm kind of interested. Luna's risk of pregnancy per woo woo is 2%. Wow. Okay, that definitely is really, really low. So he's trying to make her feel better and I'm gonna... There's not much point in woo in at 2%. I mean, technically they could, but I think that they're both way too sad to do this right now. So I'm just gonna make them both like sleep in the same bed. So at least they can like, you know have cuddles and stuff and i think i'm also gonna assign this side of the bed to him now because this kind of feels like it will become like a future bed for if we do manage to conceive maybe and we've not officially in a relationship or anything yet but i mean they're definitely very in love and they're fated mates and they are trying to have cubs uh, cubs puppies so, look, 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 look. so they can do this so I feel like they would definitely start sleeping in the same bed again. It's taken six episodes, but we're back on track with the Luna and the rain train. Rain train. Oh, and oh my gosh, how have you slept in for work this much? Oh, we need the money because we're going to need it for facility treatment. Today is love day, but we won't be dating. We won't be going on any hot, expensive dates. Our love day is instead probably going to, well, rain's going to transform. I can see he's getting a bit red and glowy. We're going to need to pay for facility treatments. I like, I need to get him working today. If he had a job, our lives would be so much easier. But he got the anti-capitalist canine. So if I give him a job, his fury is just going to go absolutely crazy all the time. So I can't do that. He does feel like he needs to get outside right now. So I'm going to get him to try and find some stuff to sell again. And then I'll get him an odd job again today. If I can get two in today, that would be really helpful. Oh, and Luna has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle. Is that because they were like cuddling while they were sleeping? She prefers to form deep connections with a small circle of friends. A pack, if you will. Oh my gosh, these the stories just write themselves. Fitness level four, $81 an hour. Oh, I wish I had more handiness skill, but that's pretty good. Oh, and oh my gosh, this is from Not So Very. So I found a ring in Madeline's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. Ah! You guys literally only just started dating and now she wants to propose. Wow. You guys could have a long proposal. That's the thing that could happen. I mean, if it makes you happy, say yes. Okay. They are very happy together, but wow. You're right, of course. I should say, wait, he's got a really low voice. You're right, of course. Of course I should say yes. What was I thinking? Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. He has a super low voice. That was our brother that we met last time. And oh, no, you got a failure. Rain! I could do without that right now, especially because you're about to transform again. Please find another job. And then I'm just going to dump everything out of his inventory into Luna so I can she can gift it to the park to try and up her ranking because he's going to transform soon. So he's a good gamer, actually. This is good. Right, and then please don't transform. Oh, no. I really need the money, Rain. Please tell me you still got your odd jobs. I've got to pay for fertility treatments. Ah! Yeah, I need to get that Sumba hole or she needs to unlock that being able to calm people down ASAP. Gotta get to Delta rank. Okay, we've got to get a move on then. In fact, let's head there now and contribute a bunch of stuff. Like these shards and this cow plant skull and this cow plant job on. Once I'm leader, I think I can take things out of here anyway, so we should be fine. Rory's just transformed as well. Everyone's transforming today. Apart from me, I've got this under control. And yeah, I can't make him go to work because he's transformed. That's so annoying. Oh, <gasps> pacify unlocked. Wait, does that mean I'm a Delta? Yes. Okay, right. Get home and pass. Oh my gosh, rain zoomy in. No, 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 no. Not time for zoomies right now. Time for Ernie's right now. Ernie of money's right now. What do you say to that one? I'm clicking his butt right now. Let's go pacify rain. And what? What am I smelling of? Why am I? Why do I smell like that? I've got a sore throat from howling too much. Oh my gosh. So pack mentor and discipline interactions can be performed on lower ranking pack mates. Oh, pack mentor. Yes. The fury fueled non-conformity poster has been added to my inventory as well. Nice. I am now a Delta. Cool. I still want to make alpha of this pack, but I probably need to work out a little bit more before I do that. And how far away did he zoom me? Okay, there we go. I'm trying to pacify him. Trying to calm him down. Get him all nice and calm. Okay, brilliant. Now you need to go to work. There we go. It worked, but we got it a little bit too late. And seriously, what is going on with me? Why do I have this weird orangeness around me? Is that because I leveled up? Is it kind of stuck from when I leveled up in my park? I don't know, but I sure be throwing out some interesting things right now. However, Iris has come around to hang out. Luckily, I managed to pacify Rain, eh? Oh, I could give her a cursed bite, but no. Don't think Rain will appreciate that one. She's probably come around to see Rain, so I'll invite her in. And I can kind of see these guys actually getting on. Okay, I'm just going to try doing a real quick somber hole. 
Because I don't want to transform while Iris is here. Oh. Oh. It's a bit of a sad haul, but it should... Yeah, my fury is low. Oh, that's so handy to have. Also, your hygiene is low. Please go get some showers. Oh, yes. Well done. Okay, we're almost back up to a thousand pounds again. Good job, Rain. And I don't know where Iris went, so I kind of need you on another job if you don't mind. Okay, so there are advanced pregnancy options, but we can't afford any of them. What I could try and do is... Purchase a fertility potion and just, you know, see if that helps at all. It's only $50. It's obviously the cheap version, but it could help me out. I'm going to take it and see if I, what my number changes from two to. Okay, let's drink that. Okay, my chances are higher whilst under the effect of this. But how much have they actually gone up by? Also, this potion only lasts seven hours. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. I'm still at 2%. Well, that's not going to help me at all. I'd have to, like... Woo woo 50 times in a row. Like, that would be incredibly sore. This is my new poster, by the way. I've got to try and get the money for the other treatment. I'm going to do some odd jobs too. And can I try and like negotiate a raise? No, I can't. Let's do this one. Ooh, and boom. Well done, Rain. We didn't get paid much for it. We literally just got less than what the potion was. <laughs> oh, well. I don't have this fertility level, but... Uh, sorry, photography. I'm obsessed with fertility. I don't want my stars to drop. That's all I can do for now. Let's try and like maybe find some stuff down the mines. Explore these underground tunnels for a bit of extra cash. We're definitely trying to get our cash in like a... Uh, ooh, half everything too in very rogue means but werewolves just aren't suited to regular work you know they're just not too furry and clawy and feisty Ooh, i got him a gordian thorn and a mandrake well done uh can i navigate the debris for anything else Ooh, it's a good job you can see in the dark well done he loves exploring and adventuring. I never thought Rain would be an outdoorsy person. This werewolf changed him so much. It takes super strength. Well, he's... If anyone's got super strength, it's Rain. Ooh. He managed to secure the lockbox before giving into the mountaining weight. The mountain weight? The lockbox is already open and it isn't empty. <gasps> yes, a walking stick. What the hell? I'm just getting some random stuff from this. Oh, and Rain likes gardening. He's so outdoorsy. I actually can't get my head around how outdoorsy he is. Okay, so I got a chair. Where is this walking stick? I got mandrake. A walking stick is inside. What have I got? Oh, I got a stick insect. Great. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to send them both home because our potion only lasts for another 49 minutes. Get cracking. And I'm on mild fine notice again. Oh my gosh, they're so... Oh, they're quite annoying. Okay, you really are cutting this fine. It's probably not going to have to be your greatest performance, Rain, but just like a, a speedy turnaround is what we're looking for here. And look how happy she is every time she tries for a baby. Oh, bless her. Okay, he's gone straight to sleep. She has not, and we all know why. Let's go ahead and take a pregnancy test. If it's still not right, I'm going to smash this toilet. I swear to God. It's still only at 2%. Like, the chances are so freaking low. Can I do IVF? Is that a thing? Can I do that? <gasps> it actually works! No freaking way! Toilet, you live to see another day. I won't smash you. <gasps> the facility treatment worked. The facility treatment worked. Okay, okay, okay. She's off to go eat some raw meat. But what do I need to eat? I can never remember to increase my chances of having like triplets or twins. <gasps> oh, has she told him? Has she told him? <gasps> He woke up. It's like he knew. Maybe he heard us celebrating from the toilet. This is the best love day gift I think you can possibly give someone. Share the big news. Like she's like, yay! And he's just happy for her. I don't think he's like, oh no, he's got, he actually was keeping confetti in this pocket his whole time. Just in case this, wow, she's so happy. <laughs> just in case this moment ever came up. And then I'm also gonna, I can tell Rain it's his. I mean, obviously, he knows that. Don't go to bed. Come on. Big moment here. Obviously, like, I feel like he knows that and she knows that. But I think it's more like she would want someone to tell her because she's like feels insecure in that way. So she's going to like make sure that she tells Rain. Oh, he's actually super happy. They're going to have little teethy babies at home. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And look, she's like, let's talk about the decoration. How are we going to pay for these little pups? Like, there's so much we've got to do, you know? If they'd have got enough money, we could have done artificial insemination, like gone the IVF route to try and get get it to work but i'm really glad that they managed to not that would have been so expensive like ivf is so freaking expensive so i'm so happy they made it work like literally so happy she's so happy right now she's like all energized she is all as well the partner took the news really rather well they're open to having children and i got to have the experience with Lu luna what a relief we're eating for two at least fingers crossed more news was well received the raw meat tasted fub the woo-woos despite being short were actually just still top-notch 
much. Bringing out the best from caring for so adoring someone nearby. He's literally doing a serenade for us now, but I'm now like, I just really want to sleep. It's been a stressful few days. And as for Rain, not a bad surprise. Rain's partner says Rain is the father of their child. Whether wanting children or not in, a, in an exclusive relationship, it's still confident to know that at least your child is yours. No surprises there. But he has got a little ring. Completely satisfied. He thought it was spectacular. <laughs> that was the best 15 minutes. 15 minutes in Sims is 15 seconds. So the best 15 second performance ever made ever. So well done. He's so happy he's writing a song. Literally. He could still make this a career, by the way. Like, rather than our jobs, we could just have this whole singing songwriting career. I'm just saying. Literally, he's so happy. I'm so happy. I thought it would take me ages. I thought I'd be spending thousands and thousands on IVF for them. But I didn't have to go down that route. Okay, so things I can do to boost it. I can buy the fertile trait. I think I would have um, needed to buy this before we started trying for a baby. But I don't think... I, yeah, it's too, I've only got 2,000 points and then I would have needed 3,000. So... That would have helped me, but I just didn't have enough for it anyway. On a ley line is the next tip, which I already did. You can also get a fertility massage from, uh, massage from Spa Day, but um, I took a fertility potion instead. You can also brew an elixir of fertility on outdoor retreat, but I don't think there's anything in particular you can eat. So we just have to hope that the ley line thing is enough, really. So... If you guys have any other tips of things that I can do to try and maximize the chance of having a little puck with these guys, let me know in the comments below. I wish I'd like done some of the extra fertility stuff, but we were going through the mod route, so I think that's absolutely fine. I really wish I could have bought her the fertility trait, but I just don't have enough. Ooh, doctor visit needed. Oh god, okay. We might have some drama happening next episode caused by mods and the game again. Rain is apparently not well, which surprises me because he looks a picture of health, but we will go to the doctor next episode, so make sure you tune in to see what happens next episode with Rain and also with this Babalaroo. Please leave your comments with ideas for how I can maximize twins or triplets in the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show it some love, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!